Greetings, my name is Francis Daniel Okumagba, an ex bank director, mentor, business strategist, wealth and life coach. I help people succeed in what they do or choose to do. I used to be a banker and I've been doing this for a long time now, but decided to go into taking a certificate program in counseling because I saw the need to actually get that experience because of the level of interaction that I would begin to get with my clients. I used to advise people, because of my experience, I used to advise people a lot on how they can succeed. And I thought that was all you need to do. If you see people that are challenging, you just advise them. But my certificate program in counseling has exposed me to how you can actually get people to make up their mind and take their decisions themselves by bringing up the, the, the things that they need to know and the things bring out the issues that have to do with their mental state that they can actually get the best out of the decisions that they come up with at the end of the day. The need for counseling cannot be overemphasized. It is speculated that almost 70% of the people you see have mental challenges. The mental challenges come from the, the experience they have from their background, their environment, the circumstances they face. You know, in Africa, we have a lot of parental disorder. We have a lot of marriages, who, a lot of challenged marriages where you have a lot of distorted homes. And this creates a lot of psychological problems in a lot of families. Now, in our schools today, we also have issues where the young people today are looking at the world with their eyes view, looking at the social media, and they get a lot of vices from the social media. And when you see them in school today, they are confused. They don't know what to do. And a lot of people are out there who don't really have gotten any form of parental care because some of them have separated families where you have the parents not living together and they have issues where they have to look at what their fathers or their the spouses of their parents and all that introduced into their lives. A lot of them have challenges where they are abused. A lot of them have issues with exposure to drugs. If you go to the north today, the level of involvement with drugs you can't imagine it today so we have a lot of challenges today a lot of people are not giving their best in life because they have certain ways they have taken out things that have happened to them and they dwell on these things and they begin to show in their, be their behavior so the need for counseling cannot be because but in school they don't do anything about counseling people don't really counsel people and the young people pick up vices from the social media with nobody advising them, they just pick up what they have. So today you have a lot of people that are homosexual, a lot of people that are lesbian, you have a lot of people that are into drugs, and you have a lot of people that are quiet and innocently abused, and they cannot express it to anybody because society tends to frown against people who come out and express themselves openly. So many people have issues today that they are facing, they have a lot of demons in them that they are facing that they don't know what to do and they don't know who to talk to. Because most times when they try to talk to people, really, religious sex who try to do in some level of counseling what they do is they stigmatize them as oh how can how can you get involved how can you be doing this how can so a lot of them keep to themselves and don't express themselves and we continue to have people who are suicidal have suicidal tendencies and have all sort of things that are happening to them you have a lot of young people today because of abuse that they've gone through they don't want to have to do marriage if you look at the incidents of in our society today marriages are not taking place because people are thinking that oh marriage is a, is, a, is not something that people should to enjoy because their parents did not engage through marriage and all that. So we need to have counseling done to actually start seeing how we can alleviate the worries and fears of people. Now in this new generation that we have, it's difficult to get people to get them to just advise them and tell them what to do because they already know what is good and bad. But what counseling does actually is to actually let the person bring up the issues that actually created that challenge in them, that inhibition, those inhibitions that were created, and show the person the options that are available that they can, you can help them come up with their own decisions at the end of the day. When an individual comes up with what he feels will be good for him, then solving the problem is already solved already. So counseling is what actually brings out the best in all in the human beings that we have because they will be taking the decision themselves to change. And what you do is to help them through the process of taking that decision. And when they take the decision, you see them coming out of the challenges that they have. So I encourage parents, I encourage organizations, religious groups to send a lot more people for, for the counseling program because if you look at our society today, the level of counseling that we need is enormous because if we are speculating that 70% of the people are 
challenge when we have a big problem, but we don't have enough counselors to actually take up all these issues. So I encourage everybody to take interest in this counseling program. Religious group parents will take the course in counseling so we can reduce the number of pressure that a lot of people are going through. Again, my name is Francis Daniel.